Good morning. I'm Peter Milios from the Finance News Network. Stocks fell on Wednesday as Treasury yields tracked higher following the release of stronger than expected US economic data. Retail sales data for December came in stronger than expected, indicating a resilient consumer and putting aggressive rate cuts from the Federal Reserve into doubt. Retail sales were up 0.6% from November and gained 0.4% month over month, excluding autos. Economists polled by Dow Jones had estimated a 0.4% month-to-month increase in retail sales and a 0.2% ex-autos. The 10-year Treasury yield was last trading four basis points higher at 4.11%, continuing its rise from Tuesday after Federal Reserve Governor Christopher Waller warned easing monetary policy may come in slower than anticipated. So far, traders are pricing in a roughly 52% chance that the Federal Reserve begins cutting rates in March, as hopes mount for a pivot according to CME Group's FedWatch tool. Overall, the Dow Jones Industrial Average declined 0.25%. This marked the third straight day of losses for the 30 stock index. The S&P 500 slid 0.56% and the Nasdaq Composite lost 0.59%. Charles Schwab shed 1.3% after reporting mixed quarterly results. Walgreens and Caterpillar both dropped about 3%, leading the Dow's losses. Meanwhile, Boeing advanced 1.3%, making it one of the biggest gainers in the Dow after recent sharp losses. In commodity-related news, iron ore, oil and gold declined, with gold nearly nearing a drop of below $2,000 per ounce. Shifting to U.S. sectors all closed lower overnight. Real estate and utilities were the worst performers, whilst consumer staples recorded the fewest losses. In the U.K., headline CPI came in at 4% and core CPI was 5.1%, which was slightly higher than expectations, delaying a potential Bank of England pivot towards rate cuts. The U.K. 10-year note yield surged by 19 basis points to 3.98%, And this disappointing CPI report indicates that the Bank of England is still distant from having sufficient evidence to confidently lower rates. Additionally, China's recent data and weak consumer confidence are impacting overall market sentiment and retail sales figures are expected to remain volatile. Looking ahead to the Australian market, shares are likely to fall due to inflation data in the UK and strong US retail sales, reinforcing argument that rate cuts may be imminent. Additionally, on Thursday, Ampol, B, HP and Yankol are scheduled to release their production updates. The SPY futures are pointing to a 0.3% fall. Thank you for listening.